<gasps> I think they fight it. I'm a sucker for cards, especially when you write in it. I'm not. You said it used to go crazy. It, used to go crazy. it never went crazy. <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Honey K and make sure you subscribe because we live over here, period. All right you guys, so today is Thursday and we're starting off another weekly vlog. My weekly vlogs never really start off on a Monday, y'all. They usually start off on Thursday and I kind of just end them whenever. So yeah, as y'all see, I got my hair done, period. It's like red vibes. Y'all know Valentine's Day is in like four days so or five days yes yeah, in five days i felt like this was a cute little vibe for valentine's day coming up if y'all want to see the video of me getting this hair installed that video will be up before this video so make sure y'all don't forget to go ahead and check that video out i ended up getting the hair in a different style when i got it done but i didn't like it when i got home so i just ended up taking it out but i'll show y'all all that in the hair video so make sure y'all go check that out Today, I don't really have much on the agenda. I did cook breakfast earlier, as y'all saw. I did do some laundry, so I'm about to fold the laundry right now. And then I want to get cute because I have a reservation at Catch tonight, which I've never been to Catch, so it's going to be my first time going. Hopefully, it's really good. Catch is very hyped up in LA, so we're going to go try it today. My reservation is for 8.45. I really want to go to work after. So that's what's like on the agenda today. Fold this laundry get cute and go to catch and then maybe work after i also need to go to the mailroom because i have some packages down there of course last night i also got a rug in my living room you guys so cute i love it i love this rug the rug it turned out to be exactly how i wanted it to look i literally have a video of me trying to bring this rug upstairs i'm gonna show it to y'all y'all so also, y'all know I got this rental, and I thought to myself, it's bigger than my car, so I bought a rug because it's going to fit in here. It would never fit in my car, this rug. So I'm thinking now, like, okay, you got it home, but how are you going to get it upstairs? This is about to be a freaking struggle. A struggle. I don't want to drag my brand new rug. I don't know. <laughs> so let's watch me struggle. upstairs yeah and my bar stools are supposed to be here by tomorrow i believe it's just gonna look way better in my house once i have those bar stools i also need to go to sammy's camera this weekend because i dropped my camera real bad and now every time i touch a certain part on my camera it shuts off so i really need to go see if they can fix that for me because i do have insurance on my camera so i'm about to do laundry right now and then we're gonna get dressed in a little bit Turn my bitch, 
So it's a couple hours later and I'm all dressed and ready to go. I'm about to go to catch, like I said. My friend is actually running late, so hopefully we're still going because I'm already dressed. But I did just get hit up from somebody that's in LA and they talk about they finna go to my club tonight and they want to see me. So I'm like, I'm definitely going to work tonight now because I have a table for sure. So And it's Super Bowl weekend, so I just feel like I should be working every single day this weekend is probably gonna be money so even though a lot of people are in arizona right now because la is not too far it's literally like a three hour drive and a good thing my club lowered their house fees so now i pay 150 if i get there before 12 at first it was before 11 but now it's before 12 so i'm gonna work later if i want to but i do like to go kind of early like around 11 11 30 because it'd be early money in there sometimes i'm still probably gonna be going early but it's good to know that i can go a little bit later and still pay the same price also somebody asked me what kind of club i work at. I work at two clubs, y'all know. I work at one day shift, one night shift. They're both what I would consider urban clubs. One of my clubs, I don't get nude. I don't show any type of body. That's my main club. My main club that y'all really be really seeing me work at, I don't get naked at all. You could call it an urban club or a booty club. So somebody was asking me that and that's really what you call it, like urban club, booty club, same thing. I hope that answered the girl's question in my comments. Dip and he begged me to stay. Babe, I'm not staying, I just wanna play. Babe, I'm not staying, I just wanna play. Babe, I'm not staying, I just wanna play. In the party, he just wanna run. Big boobs in the bus, they plump. She a baddie, she knows she a 10. She a baddie with her baddie friend. They like, I tell you, always stay hot. Oh, they mad cause I keep making bops. Oh, she mad cause I'm taking her spot. If I I need me a lot. Like damn, she in her mood. 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 She lit, get money too. Like damn, she in her mood. No friends, I don't with the fake. Saying they love me, but one in my place. Step in the party, I'm making the baddest. So the paparazzi in my face. Pretty. I came from the gutter, said I'd be lit by the end of the summer And I'm proud that I'm still getting bigger Going viral is getting them sicker Like what, let's keep it a buck It's too boring, I'm checking the rut Let me get me wrong when I hop at the chuck It's like Lauren with a ass butt, yup Pretty face and a waist all gone And I'm making them way hold on And I'm making them way hold on Way hold on Like damn, she in her mood Like damn, like damn, she in her mood My camera is really tripping right now I gotta take my camera to go get checked I just talked to y'all this whole time and it was not recording. I gotta go get it checked because I dropped my camera and I was acting weird. Anyways, now that it's recording, let me tell y'all what I just told y'all. Tonight was like, whatever. It was slow. It's Thursday, but it's Super Bowl weekend. So I'm like, oh, well, I know the weekend is gonna be more late. The club had ran out of big bills. So I had to bring all my ones home. And I have the hiccups, y'all. I was drinking, but I didn't drive, so. I literally was gonna stay home so that I could like edit this video, last week's vlog. I'm hoping I made at least 600, at least. I don't know, it wasn't giving tonight. And I tipped out like, I tipped out so much money. I feel like I should not have tipped out that much money. I barely made anything. My table didn't show up. Like, I'm about to run this money y'all. And I'm about to just hurry up and shower and stuff and go to sleep because I'm gonna work my other club day shift tomorrow. And then I have a private party after. And I have a lash appointment at two. I'm about to run this money and see how much it is. And I'll be right back. Tonight was whatever, like I said. So we got 24 in extra ones. And then I have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. So we made 524. We was close to what I said. 524 on a Thursday. This is just the start of the weekend. I'll see y'all in the morning. What's up, y'all? So it's Friday now, and I got up this morning, went to my lash appointment, got my lashes done. Now I'm about to go to my other club and work day shift and see how that goes. And then once I leave there, I'm gonna come back home for a little bit, freshen up and stuff. And then I'm gonna go to my private party that I have tonight with TT. It's Friday, it's Super Bowl weekend, so it should be good. It should be good. We're gonna see. All right, we'll talk about it, bro. So you can't we'll ask the manager to go look at the paperwork that I signed. The manager's in the back right now. The DJ, he's not going to do all that. I'm not going to lie. Uh, so y'all just not going to let me work? I'm going to let you in. Go make it a big deal. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to look in the back. Yeah. 
I don't mean to give you a hard time. Like, damn, seen the girl. And when I did your shit, you was that nut. You feel me? But I'm gonna put you in the back. You put baddie? Y'all, I am so freaking bored. These dudes wanna talk. These dudes in this club is being cheap. And I don't like that. All they wanna do is buy you drinks and food here and talk to you. That's one thing I don't like about this club. They be wanna watch TV, like it's given sports bar. I've been here for about 30 minutes. I'm about to go back out, walk around, do a round, see who I could get to throw some money. But we gonna see. Let's do a walk around. Okay guys, so I'm back at home from my day shift club and it was so wet. I literally stayed for two hours and after tip out, I counted my money and I made $50 in two hours a complete waste of time and if y'all wondering why i stayed for two hours i could have stayed longer but i was just so irritated by the customers in there i was just ready to go i stayed for two hours i went to wingstop and got food and now i came home and i freshened up and i'm really just about to chill right now with my friend until it's time for me to go to the private party and y'all the reason i was irritated in the club is because the customers in there are usually hispanic there was about three people that i talked to that did not speak english and like they would start trying to talk to me and i'm like i don't know what you're saying you don't know what i'm saying this is pointless like can you get some money then they get money they're getting like five dollars and like tipping one dollar at a time and i don't like slow money like that then one of the customers felt like it was okay to put his hand somewhere and i don't like that i'm not comfortable with that don't touch me right there no so i told him like no don't touch me usually i'm like i'm gonna stick it out wait a little bit the table might come in i had zero patience after this man grabbed my and i also had in the back of my head like i got guaranteed money coming tonight like i don't gotta deal with this so i just Went to Wingstop and now I'm back at home. I'll see y'all once it's time for me to go to the private party. Y'all, so I just been chilling for real. I'm about to go to the private party in a little bit. I went downstairs though and I had a couple packages. We about to open it up and see what we got. I think it might be the bar stools that I ordered, but I ordered only two for now. I want four, but I wanna make sure that the two that I ordered are what I want. So that way if I return them, I'm only returning two instead of four. These are the two boxes that I got. This one is for sure my pop with hands because it has a picture of it on the side of the box. They came wrapped up real good. The top is literally so cute. So y'all can know. It got the wood handle with the... I don't know if y'all can see like the detail of the pop. They have like little dots. It came with this little steaming thing. I'm gonna take up all out the box so y'all can see. So this is everything that the set came with, y'all. I really love this set so much. It also came with this little spatula thing. I really don't like this. It looked like it got sprinkles on it. I don't like that. Yup, these my bar tools. This is one of them or two of them. They are so pretty. So cute. I can't wait to put this together. I'm not putting it together right now because I'm about to leave the house. Top of back look. It's velvet, they have gold, and they have silver. See, I'm about to wash these pots and pans real quick, and then I'm gonna head out to the private party. So I'll see you guys once we get there. Happy birthday! So y'all know how it go. We got our deposits when we get here. You already know the deal. <laughs> half of it now, half of it when we pull up. Period. 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 And now we, she asking for more liquor. So yeah, we about to get changed. Hey, my own bottle girl, period. <laughs> yeah, we taking a water break. We just uh switched out some ones because we didn't bring none, which I don't it was know, my fault. I don't know why I didn't bring none. Like, no, it wasn't even your fault because like I know I'm doing a private. Haven't done a private in a little bit, so I forgot like bring ones just in case. But it's okay because we count fast, we straight in fast, so we just switched it out. We just switched out probably like. 300 something like that. Do y'all got any special requests before y'all come back out? I don't. I know. Y'all can play whatever. Oh, don't play with it. Don't play with it. This stuff. <gasps> I think they fight it. <laughs> oh, she throw water. Okay, let's go. Let's go. What's she doing? What's she doing? Come on, let's get dressed. Y'all, it's always something with a private party. Like, they just gotta count this and they gotta go. 
Oh she said, you already put your hands on my sister. Get the out. Yeah, yeah we gotta I go. Put my hands on my sister. Oh, yeah. From Mr. Dollar. And then our big bills. And then I have, nobody zelled you, right? I don't have zelled. Okay, nobody zelled me. I just got cash up. Mm -hmm. And I think I got like a total of, this year, right? It's a dollar right here. What is that? This one. 50, 75, What's that? 18. Oh, 18. What's up, guys? So I'm back at home from the private party. And I don't know where. I just got hella tired. Whew, I'm ready to go to bed. But at this point, I'm always tired. I'm a sleepy girl. I don't know. The private party was cool. I made my minimum. I didn't pay a house fee. I didn't have to tip nobody. So that's always a plus because all my money's profit. Plus, I got a deposit to show up. So that's even better because I got paid to show up instead of paying to go to the club. As some of y'all know who watched me before, I always get half of my deposit before I go to my booking and the other half once I get there. Sometimes I get my full deposit before. So I'm going to do the money count not including the first half of the deposit that I got, but I'm including the second half. I'm just going to include what I got tonight. We got to see how much your girl made. So I have big bills. I have $2 in ones. So that's $2. And then in fives, I have one $5 bill. So we're at $7. And then I have a 50. So that's $57. And then we got 20s. 100. 200. So that's 280. 280 plus the 57 is 337. So we're at 337. And then we have two $100 bills. So now we're at 537. And then we have our cash apps, which I'm about to add that. So we're at 537 plus I got two cash apps, one for 75 and one for 40. So y'all can see one for, I hope y'all can see. So in total, we made $652. We was there from 12 o'clock to 2.20. So we made $652 in two hours. That's not including the other half of the deposit that I got. When I get up in the morning, I'm going to do my bar stools and stuff. So I'll show y'all that. Okay, y'all, so I put two of the barstools up. This is how they look, y'all. But y'all, I did get a package from Shein as well. So I was like, I might as well open that since I'm talking to y'all. I got a pair of shoes. I literally had these shoes already, but they were left in Houston. So I got another pair. These white heels, y'all, they match everything. They look super cute. They're super comfortable. It is Saturday, y'all. I am going to work tonight also. We're gonna go to my home club tonight. So I also ordered this little lingerie set. And, and what I liked about these underwears is that they're adjustable. I was thinking about doing a Valentine's Day photo shoot, so I had bought this for the photo shoot, but I'm not gonna do a photo shoot anymore. And this is the top. I might just take pictures at home in it, maybe. I also got this red dress, which I'm probably gonna wear when I go to dinner, because I have dinner plans coming up. It's like a halter dress, so it ties up the top. And it has a slit on the side of it. It has a slit on both sides. And the back is open. I think it's cute. Valentine's Day red. I'm not going to dinner on Valentine's Day. Because I don't like doing that. Because it's way too packed. Last but not least. I got this skirt. So you can wear this skirt in multiple ways. But I think the way I'm going to wear it is with the buttons in the middle. I feel like you could also wear the buttons to the side though. But yeah, that's everything I got from Shein, y'all. I'm about to clean my dancer bag out and pack me some outfits. I'm about to wear this tonight. This dress with this thong and diamond pasties. It'd be super cute. I really need to edit a little bit. I might edit for like an hour and then take a nap and then get up and start getting ready. But I'm going to clean up right now too. 
these are like the diamond pasties that I'm gonna wear. I'll see y'all once I'm ready to go to work. All right, guys, so it's later now and I'm ready to go to work. I can sit in my little bar stool and talk to y'all. Hold on. It is Saturday, like y'all know. I'm on time. We about to go to my club. Let's see what tonight is talking about. I'll see you guys once we get there or once I get back home, either one. What's up, y'all? So I'm back at home now. Let me just say, like, where is everybody at? Is nobody in LA? What's happening? I get it's Valentine's Day weekend. It's Super Bowl weekend. As y'all know, yesterday I didn't go to my club either and I heard it was bad. Today I was like, maybe it'll be better. And today was whack as hell too. And some of the girls was telling me like yesterday, girls didn't even make their house feedback. And tonight it was definitely like the same thing happening. It was a lot of girls working tonight too. I almost didn't make my house feedback. I'm so blessed that I made it back. And I left 30 minutes early. But y'all, them last 30 minutes, I swear. How dead it was, I know those last 30 minutes didn't matter. Once I got my house feedback, I was like, because it was just so, it wasn't even dry. It was dead, nothing. Only reason I even made my house feedback is because I saw somebody that I knew, that he came in the club, he was like, I'm not even here to like, do nothing i just came just to come real quick and i was gonna leave but that's crazy that i saw you in here i'm like yeah look i'm having a bad night so you you need to get a dance or something i was lucky being aggressive but i know him so it was like i could do that so he was just like all right i'm gonna get a dance so he ended up getting a hundred dollars in ones and then he was like, I don't even want to throw it. Like, just take it. So I just took it. After he got that 100, he like, that's all you really made tonight? I'm like, yes. This is all the money I have. And I paid to be here. He like, how much you pay to be here? I was like, 150. And he was like, damn. I'm like, that's how much they're making. I pay. I'm like, yes. So then he gave me another $100. But he gave me like a $100 bill. He was like, here. That's at least your house feedback. That's 200 right there. I was like, period. Thank you, friend. I done promised this nigga I'm gonna go on a date with him. I had to do what I had to do, y'all. Cause I wasn't making no money. With that being said, the money count tonight, y'all, it's real, real sad. I feel like if yesterday and today was this bad, tomorrow might be worse because a lot of people are doing like day parties and watching the game at their house or their friend's house or they going out to a bar. It just might really be whack. I was just thinking about all the scenarios. I don't think I'm going tomorrow, y'all. Even me, like, I got invited to mad day parties tomorrow. So I might just go to a day party and watch the game. It's not giving, like, go to the club unless you got a table. So maybe if I go out tomorrow to the day parties, I could try to get me a table to come back, you know? Honestly, if I don't have a table coming tomorrow, I'm probably not gonna go. So anyways, the money count for tonight, y'all. This is the 100 that he gave me. And then this is the other 100 he gave me. So that's 200. And then leftover that I made when I wasn't with him. $96. So if he didn't come in there, y'all, I would have came home with $96. That's crazy. I got this $96 from one guy that was sitting by himself and he had like a stack of hundreds or whatever. He had like $200 and he threw this at me. And it's Super Bowl weekend. This don't make no sense. So I made in total $296, y'all. $296. That's crazy. And no, I did not tip, not a soul. But I'm about to shower and stuff and go to sleep, so I'll see y'all in the morning. What's up, y'all? So today is Super Bowl Sunday. And as y'all can see, I didn't do my makeup. Like, I just don't feel like doing nothing. I wasn't even gonna go to this damn party, but I'm going, so there's that. But yeah, y'all, this keep on falling, so I'ma just see y'all once I get there. Hopefully I can see Rihanna, cause that's what everybody talk about. So I'm like, I wanna see her perform. So today is 
Monday and I'm back in my car as you can see and I'm at Sammy's cameras this is where I got my camera from y'all I just dropped my camera off y'all the man literally just told me like my warranty is not gonna cover nothing because he could tell that I dropped the camera so they don't cover it whatever the damages amount to I'm gonna have to pay out of pocket for it the turnaround time for the cameras because it has to be shipped to Arizona to Sony is three to four weeks so I'm about to be on my phone because I don't have another camera. That's my only camera. It wasn't even like I could just wait to fix it. Like I have to get it fixed because it's not working. So hopefully they don't take mad long to fix my camera. But now I'm about to head home. Today is the day before Valentine's Day and I'm going to dinner. So I'm about to go home and get dressed and get ready for that. This really sucks that I'm back on my phone, but I am all dressed and ready to go. So we're going to this place called The Nice Guy. I've never been there, so we'll see what it's like. I'm about to head out the door, y'all. I'm wearing my red bottoms tonight, y'all. Pray for me because them shoes is mad uncomfortable. So this is the red dress that I got from Shein that I told y'all ordered. And it's really short and it slits on both sides of the dress. I am wearing this black coat. And y'all, I'm like freaking bloated. His Valentine's Day gift is bleeding, y'all. Yeah, I'm about to wear this coat on top of it. I almost cried three times getting dressed, but didn't drop a tear, so we made it through. When I'm on my pick, I'm so emotional. I really wanted to stay home, but I'm sticking through it. <laughs> what's up guys today is valentine's day happy valentine's everybody i hope y'all felt very loved today regardless it's from a spouse a parent a child anybody it's not always about having a partner even yourself like i always say self-love is very important i'll show y'all what i got for valentine's day i felt special but i just been very emotional and i've been cramping all day i haven't really did much today but my friend still brought me some stuff this is everything i got y'all today i'm a sucker for cards especially when you write in it i'm not gonna show y'all what's written but i got balloons i had three no i had four balloons one of them said i love you on it like this one but it popped it was really really big but it popped i'm literally about to go get food right now and do some online shopping my trip is coming up me and my best friend are going on a trip with our moms we're both taking our moms on a trip and it's also going to be my best friend's birthday so that's going to be really fun and exciting so i'm about to do some shopping for that and then i'm about to go get me some food too Shy over here and i'm back at home y'all see my eyebrows i put makeup on and they're pretty red right now i didn't put makeup on around them yeah these are how my eyebrows look i didn't even do my baby hairs i forgot Never i'm about to do them right now um yeah shy over here she done brought a bottle anyways y'all i'm about to open this box up real quick i got from amazon i got a package Ooh. I didn't even tell y'all. We got a live audience here, baby. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, my eyebrows, it didn't hurt to get them because she put the numbing cream on them. But I do feel like one of them is arched more than the other one. Everybody's telling me it's not that big of a deal. It's not that bad. So, so if y'all can see. We having us a little drink. I didn't even plan on going to work, but it's kind of like, why not? They just gonna have to deal with my eyebrows being red. They still gonna throw a bag. It's dark in there anyways. It's dark in there anyways. Oh, fuck it. I'm opening it, bitch. It feel like Christmas. 
I done turned my ice maker on, so it's making noise. Oh, this is my. Okay. I'm dead. You don't even know what it is. This is to hold my dryer sheets, y'all. <laughs> yeah. This is to hold my dryer sheets in my bathroom. It's, it's supposed cute. to have a label that is super cute. I love that. You know what? Oh, it does have a label. Okay. So this is a clear label. And I'm about to put it on right now. So look, y'all. It's a dryer sheets. It has little things right here for you to put on the bottom if you want to wear this. Cheers. Is it? Dryer sheet container, bitch. Cheers to my dryer sheet container. <laughs> Am I fucking up this video? My bad. Mm -mm. This house is gonna be in here. And then I'm gonna put it next to my fabric softener. Go right here. Okay. <laughs> I have to put the other top back on here, but just imagine that with the top on there. And then I'm gonna fill the top one up too with other stuff. Last thing I got is this seasoning organizer for my seasoning cabinet. Well, seasoning drawer. It's a bamboo one to go with the vibe of the kitchen. Basically, it's this picture. So it's like a shelf and you put your seasoning on there. But I'm gonna just do it tomorrow. So this is how they look. And then I'm gonna just put all my seasoning in there. It's gonna be really organized. And then the shelves, you just set them up. Y'all see the vision? The audience has a question. What's the question? Do you have labels to put on your seasoning? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, it comes on. Like we got time. She said we could do it tonight, but we got time. That's what these are, the labels. Do you think all the seasoning is you got? It's, it's probably different. Like, probably. Like, probably. Like, probably. So, salt, yeah, pepper. for sure. Sea salt, salt, rock salt. These are all the salt. It's cute. Yeah. like purple. And though. we'll be doing this tonight. Sorry. Y'all see the labels? Yeah, where is it? Yeah, let's close in the sugar. Eating Paris. What the fuck is that? Hold on. They're being way too weird for me. <laughs> well, we're doing that party on the 17th. Everybody said they're going to come. You said you're going to come. I have to tell everybody what liquor we decided, though. Having a party on the 17th, St. Patrick's Day. Y'all are invited. Wait, so we're all going to do the same liquor? We have to because what we going to mix. But we're going to drink and then we're going to go to work, guys. So I'll see y'all later. This is before <laughs> a freaking mess. Now let's see after. Oh, that's nuts, really. Oh, that's nuts, really. So this does not fit <laughs> this drawer. So I'm gonna have to use those drawers for something else. Okay guys, so these are all the seasoning. Um, these are the empty ones. I'm just gonna throw them away. And then these are the ones that I could just use to refill and stuff. And these are the only three things I had left that I'm not gonna put in a seasoning thing. And now I'm about to put all the seasonings in here. I'm gonna put all the ones I don't use as much, probably at the top. Maybe I should do it in alphabetical order. No, I'm gonna do it what I use. What I use sometimes and what I don't use all the time. Or maybe I'll do it in alphabetical order each row. I think it'll be easier for me to do it in alphabetical order because then that way I won't be like, where is it, where is it, where is it? Okay, yeah, I'm gonna do that. All right, y'all, so this is how it looks. Super organized. Um, I'm gonna get like a clear bin or something for like the extra stuff on the side. These are four extra ones. If I have any seasonings that I might add. It looks way better than what it did before. They fit perfectly. I think four was perfect. It's coming together.
I work so much better with music, but I kind of want to talk to y'all a little bit before I just turn the music on and just be like tuning y'all out. Y'all, I have these boxes right here of stuff that got stolen, but I'm like holding on to the boxes. Like my Chanel glasses, my Versace glasses, my YSL purse. Like I just have all these boxes. My Dior. Part of me is like, why are you not just getting rid of it? And then the other part of me is like, I wanna wait. I know some people like sell their designer boxes. Even that Louis Vuitton box, I gotta throw that away. So first things first, what am I gonna do first? I really wanna get something to put all of my shoes on. And I wanna get like a little seat thing for inside my closet, but is that extra? Cause my closet's not even that big. Who cares? I wanna be extra. Really about to start the closet. I do wanna kind of color coordinate it too. We might as well, huh? Also, some of y'all was like in my comments of my video when I was like, oh, all my stuff got took, blah, blah. And y'all was just like, you know, you should report it to your insurance, file a claim to get the money for it. Y'all, these is the hangers that I got. I got rid of a lot of clothes, so I wasn't sure how many hangers I needed. But if I need more, I'll just go get some more from Burmeson. But yeah, some of y'all was like, oh, just report all your stuff stolen. Y'all don't think I did that? The only problem with doing that, y'all, basically because I wasn't able to file the report while I was in Houston and do the Airbnb host because I was with the wrong kind of people. That's why you gotta be careful who you be around. I had to do it through my own insurance. With that being said, my renter's insurance is for my house, which is in California, not in Houston. They only cover a certain amount. For what's called an off-premises claim, they only cover a certain amount of loss. And my amount of loss was a lot. I'll probably just do one side of my closet for now because I'm realizing how many hangers this is. This is a lot of hangers. This is not about to even do a dent in my closet. Like I was saying, y'all, they basically didn't even cover like nothing. The amount of money they gave me only covered like two of my items, like two of the cheapest items. And y'all, I have AAA renters insurance. AAA always does me good. Like they never do me dirty. In this situation, it was kind of like, this is all they could do for me. That's what happened with that for the people wondering and the people who actually watched that video because that video is not even up anymore. I got to put some music on. Just so legit. I street nigga playing my ass, so I hold him down and play my car. And I know I gotta push you, but you can't be known to. Anything you want, baby, you act around. I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> All right, y'all, so I didn't even have close to as many hangers as I was gonna need, but this is what I did so far. It's all the blacks, and it's in order from rumpers and dresses over here, sweaters and hoodies, and then shirts, and then pants. But the pants, I did two pairs of pants on each hanger to save room. So like, these are both leather, I put them like that. These are both sweatpants. I honestly am not even close to done though. So far it just goes black and then it goes like greens and then like some blues, grays, tans, and then whites. I still have all of these though that I need to hang up. And some of the clothes in my dresser too, I wanna hang up. I literally counted these hangers. They are 86 hangers. I'm gonna get two 50 packs. I also got rid of some more clothes because I really just don't be wearing my clothes. I need to go shopping for new clothes. It's a little rug in here with a mirror. Y'all, it's gonna be cute when I'm done right now. This is just the most organized I can get it without having everything. Over here, we have all my damn wigs that I have to promote. And I have some coming in the mail too. And I have a suitcase, this wig head. I'm about to clean out my old wigs, so I needed that wig head to stay out. But once I'm done clearing out my old wigs, I'm gonna put the wig head away. That's not gonna stay there. And then these shoes and stuff, I'm gonna get clear bins to put my shoes in or some type of organization over here. Honestly, these are just damn bags of stuff that I've bought over time. I'm gonna get rid of them too. I just be holding on to shit, y'all. I do. My Von Dutch bag, I need something to put my purses and stuff in because over here I got sunglasses and bags and stuff. I don't have nowhere to put them. 
So I need to get some type of bag organizer. It's coming together and I'm proud of it. So I also organized my coat closet. I'm gonna show y'all that. So I'm also gonna get hangers for these jackets and stuff. But for the most part, it's pretty damn neat, okay? So yeah, that's all the organizing I did. I did go to Target, but I didn't vlog that. I went to Target real quick to pick something up though. I'm about to edit this hair video and I'm about to try to edit this vlog. I'm not really gonna vlog me editing, so I'll just catch up with y'all. Y'all, so my friend came out here, my good sis from the A. Yeah, make sure y'all go shop for her clothing brand. Hold on. Show them what you got that shit on. But yeah, I'm trying to finish this video real quick. Y'all, we going to go get burritos and margaritas. <laughs> She's so disappointed. Nah, I'm actually in the mood for some burritos. It's just cold as hell outside, y'all. It's so cold. She said it's margarita day. I didn't even know that. It's National Margarita Day. Mm -hmm. So what we finna do? Margaritas. Margaritas. <laughs> we at the studio now. All of a sudden, she got me at the damn studio. personality and make you look better i, I really be winning because folks be just loving to talk to me yeah that's the thing too in the club you gotta have a good mouthpiece i have stuff to talk about real life i start saving money when i stay out the club well that's good for you well hey people's telling us about this restaurant that they open the floor have you heard of it he capping bossa nova do be open Bossa Nova is smack. You like Bossa Nova? I love Bossa Nova. Nah, I, ain't, I love Bossa Nova. It's like top three. I'm talking about her. Oh, talking about her. I, I was asking her if she ever had it. Oh, no, you gotta go to Bossa Nova. You're gonna love it. It's like, but she didn't want no pasta. She wanted tacos. That's why I was trying to figure out a place for her. I didn't here. say I'm from here, but I didn't say where so no where best, best tacos so was where from. Where are the best tacos? Oh. I say it's Leo's truck. I ain't never had Leo's. You have the, uh, the red birria joint? You only seen too many people walking. I have. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Honey, you cannot lie, bro. <laughs> Some who like really pay attention to that shit. Like, not going for it. No, I don't have some nasty ass tacos in LA. I don't even like tacos for real, for real. I like burritos, man. Y'all tripping. No burritos? Oh, burrito. That sounds like Chipotle. Oh, Panda? Nah, unburnt it. Nah, ain't no unburnt it. Yoshinoya is crazy. What is it? Yoshinoya. No, bro. Hell no. no. What? Like I will <laughs> eat Jack in the Box before I eat your Shinoya. Yeah, right. The fuck? Dude, and I don't nasty. even like Jack in the Box. That shit, I don't know, like that shit looks I don't like they pulled that shit out of but a freezer. It looks like crazy. Thailand, bro. That you said so it used crazy. to go crazy? It used to go crazy. It never went crazy. <laughs> 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 it never went crazy. <laughs> No, like Panda, you gotta really be in the mood for that. I can't just go get that. Like, you gotta be a long time before I go get some Panda. <laughs> so much yeah. other before that, In and Out. I'm not even. Oh, I'm but sorry. But In and Out busted no matter what. In and Out always have a line, but the line actually. Chick fil A and In and Out, top two, never go get tired of it. Damn. Chipotle, like she said, you gotta be in the mood. I gotta be in the mood for some Chipotle. I, I don't even have to be in the mood, mood for Panda. We can go there. Nah, I'll get Chipotle and before Panda crazy. for sure. And then I do go crazy. No, we can eat that tomorrow. They trying to starve me, y'all. <laughs> I'm about to do the ad lib. All right. Let it hit the trust issues ad lib. <laughs> it's all right. I didn't want to do it anyways. Send you with the beat. Alright, I'm finna try barbecue sauce with the buffalo. Let's see what it's talking about. You like it? Yeah, you tripped out. You ain't want this. It's good, but it's like I be tired of eating this. Lobster pizza. Everybody get this. Add berries. <laughs> 